Hey everybody, I'm Jason from Fuzzlord, and in this video, we're gonna check out an Emperor Cabinets 1x12, 1x15 GT. We're gonna check out the cab, talk a little bit about it, check out the speakers, and listen to some riffs. So if that sounds cool, stick around, we're starting right now. <laughs> If you aren't familiar with Emperor Cabinets, they're a Chicago-based company that's been around since 2005, and they make made-to-order custom guitar and bass speaker cabinets that are really popular in heavy music. I've been wanting one for a long time, and in this video, I finally scored a 1x12, 1x15 GT that is an ebony stain with an orange accent trim ring on it. I loaded it up with Weber speakers, uh, it's a 15 inch Werewolf and a 12 inch Grey Wolf. We're gonna mic them both up with SM57 so we can hear what each speaker sounds like separate and blended together. First thing I noticed about the speaker cab when I got it delivered was how well it was packed. It was double boxed and it had corner protectors all around the edges of the cab. And it also had a wooden panel on the front and the back to protect the front and the back faces. So when I was opening it up, I just thought these things were really nice and the attention to detail was really obvious. So the second thing I noticed when I got to install on those Weber speakers is I opened up the back of the cab and I went to put them in and I had speaker wire ready and my soldering iron and all that kind of stuff. I noticed that the guys at Emperor Cabinets had already pre-wired the jack on the cab with a nice braided cable and it already had spade connectors on the end and all I had to do was bolt my speakers down and hook up those spade connectors and I was good to go. Hey everybody, I'm loading up my Emperor cab today with some speakers and I just wanted to show a couple of things that I thought were like really cool. One of the things that's like really neat about Emperor cabs is they put a little bit of felt on the edge of the back panel to really make a, re a nice fit. I opened it up and let's check out what else we got going on here. I noticed this right off the bat. The guys over at Emperor went ahead and added wire onto the output jack with some nice gold plated spade connectors. Even though I can solder speakers in, make my own spade connectors and stuff, I just kind of thought that was really cool of the company to provide that. That way there's really no hassle for people that aren't comfortable doing that kind of work and they can just bolt their speakers in, hook them up and get to play music. So I opened it up and I just thought the finish was really nice. Again, that's the ebony with the orange trim ring. If you're curious to know what kind of colors and stuff they have available, check out emperorcabinets.com. And why don't you drop a comment below and let me know. I'm kind of curious to know if there's any bands or people that you like that use Emperor Cabinets, if you use one. And I'm curious to know what kind of color combo you would choose if you grabbed an Emperor Cabinet, as well as the speaker setup. So they make a bunch of different cabs that have different size speakers in them, like you can get the 12 and the 15, or you could get like a 212 or 215. So drop a comment below. I'm curious to know what you would pick because there's a lot more options out there, especially from Emperor than I think a lot of us are aware of. <laughs>
coolest things about this cab is that it uses two different size speakers, which gives us two totally different sounds. Let's get this mic'd up with some SM57 so that we can hear the difference between the Weber 15 inch Werewolf and the 12 inch Grey Wolf. We're gonna be using a Fuzzlord FTW120 amplifier. And let's check out some riffs and we'll switch back and forth between the two mics so we can hear the difference of the two speakers and then we'll blend them back together. And of course, I'm curious to know which of these two speakers is your favorite sound or is the blended sound your favorite? Something else really cool about this Emperor cabinet is that it is ported. So that's one of those things that really helps accentuate low frequencies and move air. I'm curious to know if you've ever played a ported cab. And again, if you're curious to know more about this cab and uh, the different cabs that Emperor has to offer, check out emperorcabinets.com. Even though this 1x12, 1x15 GT is technically a guitar cab, I know these speakers can handle some bass. So let's get a bass plugged in and we just can't wrap up this video without playing a little bass on it. So this one's for you, my bass players out there. All right, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. And if you haven't yet, why don't you drop a comment below and let me know where you're watching from, what color combo emperor cabinet you might go with. And again, I'm really curious to know if you know of any musicians that play emperor cabs, drop a comment below. Last thing before we wrap it up, I wanna give a big thank you to all of our Patreon supporters that help us run this channel. We're running everybody's name on the screen right now. And I just wanna let you know, I appreciate each and every one of you. If you want to know more about supporting what we do here at Fuzzlord Effects on the YouTube channel, check out the link to our Patreon page in the description. Also, a big shout out and a thank you to our producer level supporters, Milo, David, Troy, TJ, Rustin, and my buddy Steve from Does It Doom. I really appreciate all of you. And again, thanks for watching. Until next video, I look forward to talking to everybody in the comments.